Good morning, afternoon, or evening gamers, and welcome to another edition of Monday Mashup, your one-stop shop for everything exciting in the fields of both gaming and cinema. This week looks like it's going to be full of content for both movies and games, but it's questionable whether or not it'll be worth your time and money. Well, let's take a look. The first game on our list is an indie game that's been in development for what seems like forever, Nidhogg. A game where two players at opposite ends of the 2D linear map are forced to fight each other to the death and quickly run to their goal before the other player respawns. It's an odd sort of tug war that makes this game interesting, as well as simplistic, yet layered combat. The game won a variety of awards at expos and conferences, so it's sure to be a good buy. The Banner Saga is a turn-based RPG set in a Viking-inspired world and features some very impressive facial hair. The game was funded via Kickstarter and has some of the best art I've ever seen in a game. The animations hold up there into the bargain as well, making the game a pleasant thing to look at. The RPG mechanics seem deep enough if you want to get your fill of grinding, stats, and classes. Assassin's Creed Liberation HD is coming out for the PS3, PC, and 360, and honestly, I have no clue what this game is about. I fell off the Assassin's Creed boat around Revelations and have only just gotten back on for Black Flag, so this game's kind of a blind spot for me. I guess you can use your character's different personas to fool enemies. Also, uh, you probably stab people in the neck. On to movies. The Nut Job is coming out on the 17th and will probably be a great flick to take your kids to, and I guess people who really like Will Arnett, because he's voicing the main character. A mischievous squirrel who is planning a net store heist of outrageous proportions. So yeah, Fuzzy Critters Who Can Talk makes it your run-of-the-mill kids movie. Ride Along features Ice Cube, enough said, but seriously though, this movie has Ice Cube playing a cop. Ice Cube playing a cop. It also has Kevin Hart playing, well, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart quite literally has one character, overly enthused black man who talks fast and talks loud. Thank god he's funny. I don't know much else about the movie, something about Ride Along, Sisters, Marriage, and Bad Guys. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit is based on a character created by best-selling author Tom Clancy. Rest in peace. The movie is looking to be full of intrigue, mystery, and action, and Chris Pine. So don't expect Spock to show up anywhere in the movie. The last movie coming out this week is Devil's Due. From what I've read of the plot summary, I'm pretty sure this movie is about a woman who's pregnant with the devil. Which would make this movie almost seem like a fresh take on horror, but then it's ruined by being a shaky cam film. Seriously, stop making movies that are being filmed by some asshole who ha can't hold a camera straight for a second. Alright gamers, that's it from me this week. There's a lot of new releases this week, so you can take your pick of a wide variety. This is Kevin Allen from Esports Y, signing off.